Once he got the lead, early in the bike, he never let go. An amazing end to an amazing day and rookie year. Conrad Stoltz, Xterra world champion. Conrad, absolutely incredible. Congratulations. The first Republic of South African to ever win the Xterra world championship. How are you feeling? Incredible. I've had such a good day. I just, I'm surprised myself. Fifteen years ago, South African Conrad Stoltz competed in his first ever Xterra World Championship. He won. No one knew at the time, but the legend of the caveman was just getting started. In 2002, Stoltz proved to be the real deal. Defending his World Championship title and winning his second Xterra World Championship. The first two uh, world titles I won here in 2001 and 2002, I thought this is, this is my game, this is my race, I'm, I'm going to win the world title five years in a row. And uh, obviously I shouldn't have said it because I had mechanicals and I had flat tyres and I had injuries and after seven years of racing, it's my seventh year, I've only got two world titles. So I see that the, the other athletes that, that won while, while I was gone basically borrowed the title for a while and this year I'm taking it back. After a few years of bad luck, Stoltz rose to the top again, winning in Maui in 2007 and again in 2010. An unprecedented four Xterra World Championship victories, three ITU Cross World Triathlon victories and the Xterra Championship event record holder with 53 major wins. He's also a two-time Olympian. But it wasn't just his triathlon hardware that made Stoltz special, no. Conrad has done more for Xterra and perpetuating the healthy, active outdoors lifestyle than anyone on the planet. Take the Xterra South African Series, for example. Perhaps the most vibrant race series in the world, with more than 2,500 racers taking part in their championship weekend earlier this year. He's touched and motivated more people to get out and live more than you could possibly count. I grew up in an environment that's very much like this. Uh, it's obviously not a lava, but it's outdoors, it's, it's wild bush. My parents are extremely supportive of my sport. As a little boy, they taught me to cycle at three years old. Three years old, I cycled without little training wheels. My father gave me the, the, the nickname, Caveman, because he said, uh, everything you touch <laughs> breaks. <laughs> so uh, it kind of stuck. I can't think of anything else I'd rather do. Uh, any other job or any other thing that would make me happier than what I am doing right now. I think Exter was made for Conrad. <laughs> and the stories over the years have only enhanced the caveman legend. He is an excellent spokesperson for his sponsors and the sport. He is dependable, approachable, humble, and personable and more than willing to share his racing skills and knowledge with other athletes. The legend of the caveman is preparing for yet another chapter in his life with wife Liesel and their newest addition, baby Zena, 
the Xterra tribe would expect nothing less than for Conrad to be a world champion father. Xterra salutes the caveman and would like to thank him for making the past 15 years unforgettable. <laughs>